Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. I have a new kind of video today. First ever doing anything like this. So hopefully you like it. Uh, if you want to see me do more reviews, let me know. Um, but today I have a very special review. I chose to do my first ever review for an album that is easily, easily going to be one of my favorite albums of the year. If not, maybe my album of the year I have right now. It's pretty high up there. Today I am reviewing This Bad Boy. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, I'm sure you may have seen this particular band logo uh, spread all over Bandcamp. I know that this album was one of the top metal albums for a long time on Bandcamp. I think it's still up there. Uh, this is and bear with me, <laughs> if the band is watching, I know I'm going to say this wrong. This is Expemeritus, uh, which is the shortened version of the band name. Uh, so a little bit of a background from what I've been able to dig up about these guys. So there's not a lot on the internet and unfortunately there's not a whole lot of interviews or anything like that to go off of. But this band is, from what I understand, from Belarus and this particular band name is about 50 characters long and it's a mix of Latin, ancient Egypt, uh, Sumerian uh, language. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but at the same time that logo is incredibly, it, it's incredible. So uh, not even going to try and butcher the, <laughs> the album name. Um, obviously this is in a different language. Um, I, I believe it's in Belarus. Belarusian is, is ancient Belarusian, uh, is from what I understood. Six songs on this album. Uh, from what I've gathered, um, no names of the band have ever been shared, no faces or anything like that. So like I said, very minimal information about this band. Um, I do know, however, this is their second full-length release. There was another release that they did, I think self-released about five years ago. So this is their sophomore album, picked up by Willowtip Records. Um, and goddamn Willowtip, good job. <laughs> um, so I first saw this album, uh, like I said, on Bandcamp a couple of months ago, like right around the release, which I believe this was released in January. So. I'm a few months behind. Um, <laughs> and I thought, that's a ridiculous band name. And I just kept scrolling. Shame on me for doing that. I did then start to see it pop up more on Instagram. I started to see it pop up more on YouTube. People were talking about it and, and showing um, in their collection updates and whatever else. And then I noticed uh, Angry Metal Guy, No Clean Singing, uh, Invisible Oranges, all these metal uh, blog reviews that I typically read on a normal basis, reviewed this album and gave it an incredible review. So if you're not familiar with those blogs, they tend to be pretty tough on albums, very fair, very objective, but a lot of the times the stuff that I love, they don't. So uh, the fact that I saw that they were giving it rave reviews. I had to check it out. So eventually I did listen to it and about halfway through the third song on the album, I was completely sold. I ordered it. I got the record a couple of days later. So I've had this for now for about two weeks. I've listened to it probably every single day since I've gotten it. Um, and today I finally decided why not talk about it? Why not tell people why I love it? Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to say this album and this band's sound is very hard to say what it's for fans of. I would say there's elements of Nile in there that, that I can hear that I would say, yeah, they definitely have a little bit of a sound of Nile, but for the most part, they have their own recipe, their own sound. Uh, I would feel wrong comparing them to another death metal band. So unfortunately, that's probably not very helpful for anybody that's never heard them. Um, but right off the bat, there's six songs on this album. Uh, it's a very fast listen because you get really immersed into it. So by the time the final song comes along, you're like, damn, this is over. <laughs> um, but also feeling incredibly satisfied with what you've just listened to. Um, so the first song, is all instrumental. It's a build-up. 
um, there's this riff in this song that is incredible. It's it's a simplistic riff, I would say. It's not anything like groundbreaking, but it's like a beautiful sounding riff. It gets stuck in your head for days and that is what really drug me into this album. It's emotional, it's, it's moving in a way, um, which then it goes through and transitions into the second song of the album, which is just a killer song. It is a little over six minutes long. It's brutal, it's beautiful, it's atmospheric. It's just, it has literally every element of death metal that I love. It's got the brutal death metal sounding vocals. It's got the incredible guitar riffs in there. It's got the atmospheric sound, which is not very common in brutal death metal or or death metal in general. So they, they work that in to this album beautifully. Um, and just, and the drumming is that old school, like snare popping, double pedal, blast beat, like it's 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 just aggressive, but there's like a mid-paced tempo of the album. So it all seems to have a really good synergy together. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this song is incredible and I would be really surprised if you weren't sold after listening to this song. Then moves into the third and fourth song on the album, the third song is a little over five minutes long this i would say is probably the more heavier song i mean the whole album is heavy but this is probably one of the most aggressive songs on there um it has these bells in it that are incredible like it really just like like it's in the background of the song like i said it's got atmospheric elements to it but it just it's an aggressive sound like it's a dark bell banging sound that just is it is incredible it works so well with this song uh, there's a part in the song where the vocalist goes off into like a reverb distance and he's doing some sort of a like a speaking element um, and it's just it sounds amazing um, just the guitars are are just so so good on this album just there's this whole album is incredibly emotional it's moving and it's dark but brutal uh, it's from what I understand a con concept album almost uh, of from what I've gathered it, from the very minimal <laughs> information that I've had on the internet uh, is that it's it's really just about um, like almost like an anti-universe like a life to death situation um, and after knowing that and listening to this and reading what lyrics are currently on Bandcamp like it's a philosophical poetic album <laughs> it's thought-provoking it's just it's very very good um so with that said uh, i would say my absolute favorite song on here is the longest one which is 10 minutes uh, but before i get into that the fourth song which is eight minutes long there is about up to it's pretty much um what i want i'm trying to say here there's about a like about three minutes into the song there's like this like 20 second like atmosphere break that then transitions to like an, an amazing like brutal part of the song like it just it has this flow about it that is is emotional and dark but then brutal and heavy like I said, there's these atmospheric moments on this album that make it phenomenal and really stand out. Uh, the guitar solos in this album are incredible. They are just moving and emotional um, and they, they, they don't dominate the song, I will tell you that. They, they make it a point to make them heard but not be like the main focal point of the song. It, it, it's, it's interesting, it's an interesting a dynamic that they put in here but the guitar solo on this uh this song it just it's an atmospheric guitar solo almost uh and then eventually this song it, it fades out and then the fifth song which is my favorite song like i said the 10 minute long song it starts off instrumental and it builds up in about about three three and a half minutes in 
the song picks up and there's those brutal vocals again and it goes through and then there's this nasty fierce guitar solo and then it happens and this is just what really really like i'm getting goosebumps now that beginning riff from the beginning of the album that gets stuck in your head for days that really grabs you in starts all over again and that's the end of the song it, it, it it's there like that motif is back and it and it fades out and then the last song of the album is this instrumental track or it, it almost sounds like a sitar but i don't think it actually is uh there might be some effects going on there that make it sound like that it's this slow instrumental song and it's satisfying it, it's almost like you have reached the end of your life here and you're at peace like that's what that song reminds me of. So this album is fantastic. Um, it was an unexpected thing for me. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. Um, and I have not stopped listening to it. Uh, I wish I could play parts of the music on my video without getting copyright stri strike or whatever. So maybe someday I'll be able to do a review of that if I ever get any sort of a permission. But please, do yourself a favor, head over to their band camp, take a listen to it. Uh, if you don't like it, that's totally okay. But if I'm able to get just a few people to hear this and say that's fantastic and buy the album, I will be so happy. Again, I absolutely love this album. I think it's phenomenal. I have a new favorite band. I cannot wait to hear more music from them. Um, hoping if, if live shows come back, I'll, I'll be able to see them live. Um, and yeah, I just want more people to know about this album. Again, very minimal amount of information out there about the band. So unfortunately I can't give you more than what I've said in here, but it's well worth, it's well worth the listen. Uh, like I said, it's brutal death metal, but also atmospheric death metal, which I, I didn't think was ever really a thing until after hearing this. So that's my review guys, uh, short, sweet. I absolutely love this album. Uh, please check it out. They have an Instagram or Facebook, the Bandcamp, all that stuff I will link below. Um, I got a special color edition, I'm not gonna show it off. I'll, I'll do that in my collection update that I'm gonna be recording today. But again, fantastic album. Uh, Willow Tip, good job signing these guys. I, I think they have a really bright future uh, and yeah. They've just, they've made a different sounding album um, and I really love different. It, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping everybody else agrees. That's all I had today, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. I totally appreciate it. I've been getting subscribers like crazy lately uh, and then all the love on Instagram. It's, it just, thank you so much. I appreciate it.